We are back to face Maharlika Manila on the ASCALS development team in this episode. Maharlika Manila currently sit in fifth place. ASCALS development team later sit in sixth place. Looking at Maharlika Manila, they had a really good start to the season beating ASCALS development team. But since then, they've lost to Cebu and United City in the league. So hopefully we will be able to continue our good vein of form against these two sides. So before we get into the match against Maharlika Manila, once again, we have our press conference with my guy, Norman Soriano. Let's see what he's got for us today. Norman's asking about June Ramos, who's had an excellent start to the season. He's definitely been one of our best players. So of course, he might pop up with something. Another good press conference as we continue to build our relationship with Norman and the rest of the journalists in the Philippines, and we continue forward. So I've never done a semi-professional save before, so I haven't been totally sure about training, but it's nice to see we've got some players doing really well in training that we've been able to praise. And surprisingly, we do have some upwards arrows, so it seems like they are developing. I don't know if they're developing as quick as you know, a professional team, of course. But it's nice to see some upward arrows that they are developing. So that is a good sign at this early stage of the season. So this is what our team looks like heading into the Maharlika Manila match. The only change is that I have brought in Estemo Gailon and I have dropped Gwinnabong to the bench. And this is because he is on a yellow, but it'll be important to have him for the next match because Estemo Gailon is on loan from ADT, so he will be ineligible. So we will need Gwinnabong for that match. But those are all the changes. We are going to head into the match, and I will see you all there. And we are back in our home stadium at McKinley Hill Stadium. Let's see if we can get a home win against Maharlika Manila today as we get things going. We have started games really well. It would be nice to see if we could get an early goal to continue that trend. As Gonzalez wins it in the middle, he plays it out wide to Baldo. Baldo plays it over the top to Chio. Can Chio find the back of the net? And we continue our quick start in matches to the season as Chio with the epic knee slide. And we take a 1-0 lead. Gonzalez playing a good ball into Baldo, and he finds the right ball over the top chia with an excellent first touch and he finds the back of the net and we have a one nil lead over maharlika manila and can we take advantage off the corner here mordal who hasn't had a great season swings the ball in and we are looking for a second chance opportunity here he plays it to hogard hogard shoots and chio chio scores off the rebound we have a two nil lead and it's the second chance opportunities off of corners. Mordal for once finding the right pass. Hogard takes a brilliant strike off the bar and Chio finds the back of the net. And we have a 2-0 lead early. And it is an opportunity for Maharlika Manila here. And that's a good ball in and they've already scored. There are so many goals. My God, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's a complete miss. We can see the mismatch here. He's just so much bigger. Clarinho gets above and he finds the back of the net. It's a good goal from Maharlika Manila. It really is. And do we have a corner? Can we find the back of the net here? That'd be great. Can we find Hogard? Estamo Gailon, maybe? He finds Hogard and Hogard finds the back of the net. It's a near post corner tactic that finds the back of the net. And we once again have that two goal cushion. I mean, you can just see the, the mismatch. He's just so much bigger than the rest of the players. He rises above and scores, and we leave 3-1. Or even if we could extend it to 4, can we find Hogard again off of a corner? Mordal can put a good one in. He gets the ball in. It is Hogard, and it's, is it off the bar? What an opportunity. As we move into halftime, that's a good first half. I'll take a 3-1 lead going into halftime. I'm going to tell them they're doing well, and we, we move into the second half. As Mordal has a throw in, he plays it into Chio. Can we get the cross in? Can we find Ramos, maybe? We do find Ramos. Can he cut it back to Baldo? And he's, oh, what a block. That was a surefire goal, but Mario Caminella have done well there. As Lee looks to put the ball in, can we find Hogard again? And we didn't quite find Hogard, and it's well cleared by Harmar Manila. 
And this should be the end of match highlight as we have a 3-1 lead. For once, I'm not too worried about it. Although I would appreciate it if full time was called. Actually, we have another opportunity here. Oh, it's nearly gone in. It was nearly an own goal, but it is full time. Another win against Maharlika Manila. A 3-1 to one victory. We're going to tell them that they did well, and we go into the next match. And very interestingly, that victory, as Kaya and United City drew 1-1 and DHC and ADT drew 2-2, that takes us top of the league. Wow, that is not somewhere that I was expecting to be at this point in the season. Well, the bad news after that match is that one of our best players, Paolo Gonzalez, is injured for the next three months. That is not what we needed after that match. As always, we have way more journalists for the post-match press conference, but we have our good relationship with Norman Soriano, and we have a friendly relationship with Richard Lee. I do remember him from last time. So let's attend the press conference and see what we've got for the day. Jeremiah Reyes starts us off. They asked, how much did you enjoy Dexter Chia's performance? I wouldn't swap him for anyone, not even Victor Osaman. You know what? I will take Dexter Chio over Victor Osaman. So we have 14 days until the match against AADT. So I'll just continue forward and I will see you all in 14 days. All right. We are just before the match against ADT, Oscar's development team. They are currently sitting in sixth, one place ahead of Kaya. So if we look at ADT, they actually play at Rizal Memorial Stadium, which I believe is the Philippines National Stadium. So this is one we are definitely going to take a look at for the away day, and then we'll get stuck in with the match. So this is Rizal Memorial Stadium, and I will say zooming in, it looks quite nice. It's next to a baseball stadium as well, which I'm not going to lie, that outfield looks like it needs a little work there. But Rizal Memorial Stadium, I have to say, is in a nice area. We're next to a zoo here, the Manila Zoo. And if we zoom out, we are looking right out onto Manila Bay as well. So it is in a really nice area. So I believe this is the outside of Rizal Memorial Stadium. Yep, so we can see there, this is the outside. Looking around, pretty nice entrance here. We got zoo parking. We got a nice little stadium. If we keep moving down the road, I think it's such a nice stadium. We definitely probably won't be able to look into it at all. Yeah, we're not able to look in, but certainly the outside looks quite nice. Yeah, this is a really nice area. And here is a photo of what the stadium looks like at sunset. This is a nice stadium. This and New Clark City are definitely the two nicest stadiums that we've been to. Look at how nice that view is. I would really enjoy playing here, and I would really enjoy managing here. What a spot. So this is what our team looks like. Unfortunately, we have a number of players who cannot play. June Ramos, one of our best players, is ineligible as this is his parent club. Same thing with Ngo, Soriano, Roxas, Lozano, and I believe Estemogailon as well, as well as Mustakam. So we have made a few changes to the starting 11 to accommodate. We have Mark Montalabano coming into the match. I think he's decent. He's got decent off the ball, decent pace, you know, okay finishing and composure. So hopefully he will be able to come in and do a job that June Ramos was doing. Additionally, Titoy comes into the center of midfield and Soberano moves out to the right with Paulo Gonzalez now injured. And we have Guinabon coming in and playing central defender ahead of Estamo Gailon. So this is our starting lineup. Let's get into the match. I'll tell you what, it does look like a nice stadium. It's not as nice, I think, as the new Clark City Stadium with United City. But compared to some other ones, I think this is a nice stadium. As we move into kickoff, and ADT, I believe I saw, we're also playing a 4-4-2. I think we've done well against 4-4-2s. We've been able to create turnovers, so we will look to do the same today. Oh, and ADT have an opportunity off a corner here. We've usually been the one having the good start. And what happened there? I don't know how they scored. 
Well, that's a disappointing start to the match, and and I thought Tan was just going to to collect it, and it goes right through his hands and falls to to somebody on ADT, and they have an early lead. This is another opportunity for ADT, and this time Tan just clears it. That was a a good clearance. Hopefully, good tackle by Baldo. And we've done... Oh, that's such a poor header by Lee. And we've had it... Oh, my word. What is happening? What what two just awful goals to allow? The quality of these... I mean, first of all, Lee, I don't know what kind of header that is. But then we just allow... There's nobody around him. And Tan... I don't know what Tan's doing. What an awful start to the match. And we're 2-0 down. We're 2-0 down and they barely had a shot on target. All right, let's 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 get something back here. Hogard, you can redeem yourself as it goes into the back post and it's over the bar. What a terrible start to the game. This is what happens when we, we have to go into and use our squad depth. We just don't have it. Soberano, Soberano's got to finish that. We need to find something here. Let's get the ball out wide. Can Hajimadi get the ball into the box? Soberano, oh, he's got to score. Exactly. I'm, I'm kind of nervous in this match. I haven't been nervous for a match in a while. And we are going to lose matches, but this is definitely a winnable game. Oh, guard. Make up for your own goal. All right, let's see if we can look forward. Chio's looking to get in behind. That's exactly what we want. So Verano's running the line. He gets a good ball in. Chio, and it's over the bar. And ADT get in behind. There's no way. Okay, oh, I thought that was a pen for a second, just the way it stopped. All right, as we continue to work the ball forward, we're playing it a little bit out of the back, a little too much here. I'd like to see us be a little bit more direct in this situation. But we are, we've worked it up surprising well. Chio's in. Can he find the finish? And Chio scores. We are back in it. And that was a great ball by Soberano to get Chio in behind. And that's what we needed to get back into the match. It was good. We surprisingly played really well out of the back. But Soberano with a lovely ball over the top. Chio with a great first touch. And he finds the back of the net. And it'd be nice if we could create a turnover and get back into it here. But as Cal's development team look to play out of the back, I think they'll be looking over the top. These two here are the danger men as far as getting in behind are concerned. Great play by Lee. Can we find Soberano out wide? He lets it run across him. Can we get a good ball into the box? He plays it back to Mordell. Soberano plays it in to nobody, really. And now it's an opportunity for them to break. And it's well won again by Baldo. He plays it in. Oh, Chio is in if you could have played it in. Baldo plays it. Square it or shoot. And we're back. We have come back. Please don't be offsides. How? I do feel like we've been kind of robbed of not being able to see the lineman there. I don't think that Baldo was offsides on that previous chance. And, and Montalip, you know, hits the bar. We've been so much better than ADT in this match. We just got to find that second goal to get back into it. All right. Well, we go into the dressing room having been by far the better team. 13 shots, five on target. They have two goals despite only having one shot on target. And we have much better XG. I think we do go in them, but we say that I want a much better display. Most of them are fired up. So hopefully that added motivation will get us some opportunities. Well, ADT have an opportunity here. Can we break now? Montalabino winning the ball. We have numbers forward. We are well outnumbering him. Find the right ball. Well done. Titoy, what are you doing? We had three on one, and we haven't been able to get the ball. What an awful pass. If they score here, Titoy had three on one, and he went with the completely wrong option. All right, come on, Hajimadi. Find the back of the net. We can... Man, we're we're just so much better. Especially given that we have a number of starters who are out for this match, so we're already a bit low on squad depth. We just don't have... this. I mean, this is a really good example of when we just don't have a good enough team, really. As Mordal nearly finds the back of the net. 
And can we get something off this throw in? He plays it back to Hajimati. Hajimati plays it in. Baldo with a good opportunity. We've, we're just so much better than they are. We just need to find the back of the net once. But ADT could put it away here, which would just be so disappointing. It's played into Shrock, and it's over the bar. We are lucky. Right, we have an opportunity off of a corner here. It'd be This would be a nice place to get a sweaty goal. And we found the back of the net. Gwinnabong has scored, and that is not being ruled out for offsides. And we are back in it, and it is 2-2. Two two. Let's go! Time is ticking the way as we go into added time. Given that we were 2-0 down, I will... Oh, don't allow anything here. Please don't allow anything here. Get the ball away. We've done it. Wait. Oh, I thought we had an opportunity to counter, but that is okay. I will take a 2-2 draw. We were down 2-0. But we've come back and we have done well against a decent side. I think we tell them to trust the process and we continue forward. An excellent comeback from this team. Well, interestingly, that does keep... Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. That puts us in first place. United City defeated Stallion 5 to nil. Well, that's very unexpected. Kaya is starting to find their form as they defeated Maharlika Manila 4-1, and obviously we got that draw against Azkal's development team. Well, some very unexpected results there. Ah, wow. Well, with no post-match press conference after that match, I'm going to leave us there. We will be back for the next game against Cebu, and we'll also play uh, Philippines Army in the second round of the PFL Cup. And with that, I hope you've enjoyed this episode as we continue on with our good start to the season, which does put us in first place. So hopefully we can continue in this vein moving forward. But again, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.